include everything. All right, guys, it's been a minute uh, since I've been doing some Code Combat. We're going to start fresh. We're going to be working through the Kithgard dungeon, doing about five examples at a time for this one, for a video. Uh, we're going to start at the beginning, Dungeons of Kithgard, basic syntax. We're going to switch this to JavaScript. Not a problem. Uh, I did say I was going to reach out to the, the female programmers in a little bit, so let's go ahead and start with Captain Anya Weston. Normally I would go about my games to use uh, male characters, but we're going to switch that up. We're going to use a female one. Um, so we have uh, some boots here. You can equip items in Code Combat. Some give you just stats, such as uh, strength or HP. These boots are going to give us the ability to move our hero down, left, right, and up. And these are basically f predefined functions that we're going to be calling on our hero object. So our goal for this this mission is to go right, down, and right, avoid the spikes, and to collect the gem and complete the level. So that sounds to me like we need th three functions here. You can use these methods. Yep, thank you. We can use these methods. Hero dot move right moves right. So we can take that same logic and say, look, move our hero down, and then also move our hero to the right once more to complete the level. Now let's run our code and see if our logic was correct. Looks good to me. We're done. We're going to gain a little bit of experience. We're going to complete some levels. Get some gems. Gems can be used to buy items at the shop. Uh, we're going to try and play as long as we can without having to do that. I'm always one of those guys that likes to stockpile his gold until he can buy something really good with it. Avoid the spikes. Collect the gems. Alright. Our map is looking a little... Going on with the Maparino here. Uh, may have to close down the Steam download. Let's go ahead and pause this real quick. Where do I pause? Type a move down command on line four. Alright, there we go. All right, we're back, guys. So what we want to do here is move right, move down, move back up, move back up, move right, and move down. So let's let's see if we can get it on our first attempt. So we want to move our... He's moving right, or she's moving right, and then we want to move it down, move her down, and then we want to move her up again, and then we want to move her up one more time because we're only moving up one space. We need to move up two. And then we want to move... Call the move right function to move right, and then we want to call the move down function to move down. Now when we run this, we I believe we should be good. So here it move down once, move up twice, move up, move up, move right, and then move down, and we're done. Cool. Let's continue on, we got our gems, we got our experience. Shadow Guard. Let's continue straight forward. Onward and upward. Uh, we don't want the ogre to see us, so we want to go around instead of straight across. Um, should be pretty straightforward. We're just moving right, then moving up. Hero dot move right. Hero dot move down. So we should be right here now. And then we're going to go ahead and say hero dot move right one more time. And I believe that should be it. So we're going to move right, move up. The statue is blocking the view so they don't see us. Move right, move down, and we're done. It's more about thinking about how to problem solve than uh, how the functions work. Sometimes you just need to understand what the functions do and how you're going to be able to solve that. Go ahead and answer these. Every day they have a new thing on here about um, daily quizzes or whatever. Uh, it's really just metadata gathering, which helps them out so I don't mind doing it this is everything we're gonna be doing is completely free they do have a uh, paid version I do have a paid version or they they do have a paid version rather all right so your hero must survive collect all four gems no code problems under nine statements so, statement 1, statement 2, statement 3, statement 4, statement 5, statement 6, 
Statement 7, Statement 8. Seems pretty straightforward. Again, this is more about understanding what we can do with these functions and how to solve problem solve. So here we'll move up. We want to move right twice. We want to move right again. We want to move down. And then we want to move down again. And then we want to move up. And then we want to move right. So assuming I, uh, I did that correctly. Oops. And I did not. She just straight up died right there. All right, so this needs to be move right. All right, there we go. Now we should be good. Right, move up, right. And ch if you if you're not sure, check your code. It's checking it off line by line right here, which is kind of nice. So you can actually see the code iterating through itself. Nice. It looks like we're getting a, uh, a sword, so we'll see what that does next. It's called the simple sword. Um, what is this? This is an optional challenge level for experienced programmers. Okay, we'll come back to this at the end of this dungeon. Um, so true names. Basic syntax and strings. I don't want to jump into something that may be too hard to understand for people who are just starting out. So we have a belt. This is going to give us additional health. Health is just going to make us tankier so we can absorb more attacks. We have our simple sword that's going to give us, allow us to, it's going to give us a damage parameter. Um, and we're going to have attack. So attack is going to be a new function that's going to allow us to kill the ogres. Pre pretty familiar for anyone who's done any action, RPG sort of. Uh, strategy games or anything like that. All these things should be uh, intuitive. So what we need to do is we need to move right, we need to kill Brock or Brack, and then we need to move right, and then we need to kill Treg, and then we need to move right to the to the end. So first thing we're going to do is move right, attack, attack, and then we want to move right. So it looks like it takes two attacks to kill them, not just one, and then we want to hero.attack, and who do we want to attack? We're going to input the string, so the name, Treg, and then we're gonna do it again. And we'll do Trey here as well. And then we want to simply move to the finish line, which is two rights. So let's go ahead and test our code right now. Let's see if we were able to do what we wanted to. Move right, attack, attack, move right, attack this guy twice, move right, Move right. Nice. So we collected the gems. We killed their guys. Took a little bit of damage, but we were able to survive. For the combo breaker. We finished uh, five sections. So up in the next video, we will be doing the raised sword and work our way through. And then once we get done, we'll go back to these harder um, examples. Just in case people are just starting out. But as always, guys, thanks you to anyone who's supporting me on Patreon. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video if you enjoyed it. See you guys next time.